After taking down McNeese State with the run rule in the sixth inning Tuesday evening, the 16th ranked Baylor softball team's five-game winning streak was snapped Wednesday afternoon by the Cowgirls in game two of a two-game midweek set with a 7-3 loss at Getterman Stadium. You know, we got to come out early, fight, and we got we to gotta be able to hold that for the whole seven innings and be able to just shut them down from the get-go so we don't have to, to chip away at the end and scratch away. You know, we should get it done from the start, and I think that's expected. Baylor was able to tie the game in the second inning, but with poor defense, limited offense, and junior pitcher Giradoni's tough start in the circle, the Cowgirls were able to close out the Lady Pairs. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Yeah, I just really didn't feel like I had anything working for me today. Um, the only pitch I had that I felt was consistent was my changeup. So that's the difference. I had everything this weekend going right for me pitch-wise, and I don't feel like I had anything here today. I knew they were going to come out hungrier than they were yesterday after the performance, so I knew that I was going to have a challenge. We're going to go back to work. That's all you can do is go back to work. We've got to you know, build confidence in them by putting together a, a, an infield that the, the pitchers have confidence in and they have confidence playing with. So our first job there is to find a third baseman. Out of those the Lady Bears will hit the road for its second straight Big 12 road weekend, traveling to Stillwater for a three-game series against Oklahoma State this weekend. For Lariat TV News, I'm Elizabeth Tharp.